Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lot of money in the Elder Scrolls Online pretty fast. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be farming elsewhere, which is the new DLC released. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be farming dragons. So dragons are like the dolmens of elsewhere. So there's no dolmens in elsewhere, but there are three dragon spawns. So like there usually is three dolmens and dragons are a lot more profitable than dolmens everywhere, to be honest. So this is a really, really good money making method. You can get furnishing plants, which are the main money maker in elsewhere right now. You can sell some purples for 700k, and you can sell essentially right now even the bad purples, like you know, the weird ones. There's like a little pot, you can sell those for 200k easily. And you also get like little things for your craft bag, such as like the KJO's cutters, stuff like that. You can get corn flour from the little satchels. So I'm just going to show you guys where the dragons can spawn. So there's three spawn locations. Uh, so there's one down at the bottom here, uh, Tenmore Temple. So that's the way shrine you want to come to. And then you can see a white point of where the first dragon will be. You just want to sort of make your way around uh, to this little area from this way shrine. That's the closest one to it. So I've waypointed the second dragon location. So you also want to come to Scars and Way Shrine for this one and just make your way over. It's the closest one to it. So I've uh, waypointed where the third dragon will spawn and you just want to go to the Star Haven West Run for this one and make your way down to it. Also to find out where the dragon currently is, there's a little symbol that looks like a dragon and says the word dragon on it and yeah, it's basically where the dragon is. So whenever you guys get to the dragon, it's not too complicated, but maybe if you're a lower level or you haven't got a very high CP, it might um, kill you quite a lot. But then again, there's no real consequence for dying here. You just essentially just respawn using your little soul gems and you're fine. You just keep hitting the dragon and you still get your drop. So from this dragon loot, you can see we got a Undertaker's Ring, we got some Dragon Ball, we got some Dragon's Pellet, and we got a little Wax Sealed Bag. So the little wax seal bag is what's going to have the alchemy materials in it. So that's quite profitable if you happen to get a Hakeja or a or something like that. And also the Dragon Ball can sell for a K each in the guild stores right now on Xbox. Maybe it's different on other consoles, but it's about a K on Xbox. You see from this one, we got quite similar. Though. We got another Undertaker's Ring. We got some Dragon Blood, which also sells for a K. Uh, we got some Trash Loot Dragon's Pellet. It's this little treasure you can sell for 100 gold to a merchant. And we got another little wax bag. So it's quite profitable, you usually get a little sealed heavy sack or a little adventurer's pack where you can get the motif. So guys, essentially from killing the dragons, what we're going to get and what we're going to be aiming for is to get a lot of motifs. So the most common ones to get are the blue ones and the green ones. However, if you get lucky and you can get a purple one, that is a lot of profit, which makes it worth grinding for. Uh, the blue motifs I see selling for about 30 to 40k each right now. The price has gone down a little bit. Uh, since the release of elsewhere because everyone is farming dragons and stuff uh, But the purple ones are holding the price quite nicely They're still going for about 200k for a bad one and there's about 700k for some nice things like carpets and fountains So you can see there's also some uh, grass treasure loot that you can sell for 100 gold each to a merchant You get your dragon battle and your dragon's blood They sell for about a k each to the stores And then there's also some more stuff that goes in your craft bag just generic stuff like kakejos, kuta, stuff like that so thanks for watching the video guys, um, also if you find this to be too much effort or you just don't feel you're strong enough to kill the dragons, I also have a thieving guide on elsewhere where you can just generally go into houses and look in cabinets and stuff, it's really relaxed and you can just do it in your own time, you don't have to be chasing dragons and looking for spawns and stuff. But anyway, I uh, hope you liked the video, if you did remember to leave a like on it, maybe subscribe to the channel for some more videos and I'll see you next time.